new page. Yes, okay, so it was I maybe a CSS. So this is the new way it appears. Super bad contrast, we'll have to fix that. It's almost I can't see it on my screen. Um, so here, this is where you say you inject a widget instead of the drop down, which is now a drop down here. So let's inject a paragraph. Okay, this is the container and editor. I can inject above, I can inject below. So let's inject here another paragraph. Okay, you see in, in the middle here we can see the um, sliders that let us inject that. Um, so it's an insert, but this is a selector for this item. So here if we want to make it 50%, now it's on there, 50%. If you have never seen it, that's also a change that Niraj did, which is now the elements, the widgets, I call it elements just because Sipka is listening. The widgets are now um, also resized the way the settings uh, provide. And here, this one, if we make it also 50%, then they are both here, okay? And it's all responsive, so they will collapse like on the front end at some point here boom it's beautiful this was one of the feedback I didn't like at first we can move them so this one will go on the left here uh, we can insert now again this one a block quote full we can set the um, um, justification left so yeah, the alignment so right 33 percent should go right don't you agree should be on the right let's see if it works oops preview It's look, it looks like it's a line on the right, but that works. The fact that now, so the main change is this little thing here that appears in every, uh, between every item. That's where how it jumps from the top to the bottom here, maybe a glitch. So you can insert here or below or everywhere and then move it beautiful so that's the change from Niraj and we have an issue that is open so we can categorize all the widgets and any content type so this thing will be categorized and we might even be able to have a pop-up to display all the different kinds of widgets, not just a drop-down, the same way we do for workflow tasks or deployment plans.